Hey guys. Oh. Hey guys, this is Laurel of the Dabbling Hook. And today's really, oh, okay. Hang on. Might be a little noisy. Looks crooked. I hope it's not crooked. Um, I'm enjoying a shandy and kicking the tripod. Um, I've been cutting back on my sugar lately, so this, it's like, it just feels so cloying and totally sweet. But that's not why we're here. Um, today, hopefully, I won't ramble too much. It's going to be quick. <laughs> As she says all the time. Um, I don't have much variety um, to share today. So we're just going to jump in. And I'm going to take you to the video for the winner for the um, last random act of sharing. And I'll be back and you'll see the video got a little hinky so you'll see I'll just watch hey guys this is Laurel of the dabbling hook and it's time to pick the next um, winner of the random acts of sharing recipient so remember this is for the bag by Ash love makes the owl bag so the URLs in we had 117 comments unique commenters so let's go and see who will it be Winona Hutchins Winona I like that name congrats Sherry woohoo and thanks for sharing Laurel <laughs> all right uh, Winona my information will be down below so send me an email and remember please that you have till um, you have one week um, so my next video I will pull someone else if I do not hear from you okay. thanks bye that. I have no idea what happened what I was doing what I clicked um, on the screen record and obviously I didn't realize it until I was watching the playback so um, I did take a screenshot, so I'll put that here of the winner. So, Winona, if you would please, like I said, send me an email and um, one week. Um, unless my video is late, um, one week, and if I don't hear back from you, um, calendar's too far away. Um, next Friday, today is the 15th, and it's about, nope, it's 4.40 in the afternoon. It's a lovely, warm, but really breezy day today. I'm watching my roses sway in the breeze and watching the flowers. It's just, it's a lovely day. All right. Um, and before I forget, tomorrow is Father's Day. So if there are any fathers out there watching, are there any guys watching? I don't know. Um, Austin. I think Austin watches occasionally. And I'm watching a neighbor sitting or not a neighbor, some person sitting at the top of my lawn on the sidewalk. That's a first. Maybe she's out walking and uh, it, it is quite warm, so she's in the shade of our tree. Interesting. Anyway, um, <laughs> so that was that. And so I still have, I think, I know I have two bags. This one I'm gonna show and one more. And I think there's another one that I haven't found that I have left. So we have a little ways to go still with the bag sharing. Um, I may change it up next time and do something else. But right now, the next bag for the random act of sharing is by, again, our very own CC, Canadian Crotcheter. And this is the Dr. Seuss bag. So adorable. And the lining is of um, cursive alphabet. So that's that. And it just has a black pull cord. So that will be that. And as far as I had a question, I thought of it a couple of days ago. And literally, if I don't write things down, poof, just just gone. It could be seconds, and it's just gone. So. I don't remember. Maybe by the end I'll remember what it is and I'll um I'll let you guys know. But if all else fails, just make a comment because I just pick somebody from the comment below. So um, if you would like a chance to own one of the CC bags. Um, oh, she's on the move. Yeah, 
guess she was just taking a rest. <laughs> it is warm out. Um, yeah, make a comment. Say hi. That's all. All right. Um, what else? What else? What else? Okay. Elephant in the room. All right. <laughs> yes. It's gone. I cut off my hair, most of it, anyway. Um, yeah. I was uh, a little heart palpitating um, when I was in the chair as she was cutting because I have not gone without long hair for years and years and years since pre-children and the oldest is 16. So, um yeah, it's gonna take some getting used to, but when I did walk out, I was, uh, I felt a little lighter and freer and, you know, so not having to deal with long hair and try to do it, but this is just as much a pain to try to do something with because I'm not into the frilly, frou-frou, girly style, so <laughs> anyway, change, change is good. All right, um, you may hear some life noises. Uh, today is a very lazy day today. Um, yeah, that's it. Anyway, uh, where are we? Notes. Um, whips. I have two active whips right now. Um, one of them, I only, a little crinkly noise, I'm only going to show you a sneak peek of it because um, it's a test I'm doing and uh, the designer has not um, mentioned it yet, so I'm not going to mention more, so that's all. <laughs> so, I'm hoping to I had a couple of things I needed to finish um, this week so I'm hoping to put some effort into it and get this done this week <sighs> um, I'm using Red Heart Super Saver and this colorway I'm using for some reason it just feels so much thinner you know how some of the yarns for Red Heart feels a little thinner than others especially um, the variegated ones feel rougher um, but so it feels like it's taking a little longer because it feels thinner. But anyway, that's that. And then the only other one that's active. Um, oh, it's a really loud car. There's a lot of um, graduation ceremonies or not ceremonies, graduation um, parties and celebrations going on around. So there'll be there are a lot of cars going around. Um, and Minion 2 had his... Uh, moving up ceremony so I will have two high schoolers <laughs> oh my god <laughs> next year so yeah he had his uh moving up ceremony from eighth grade um last night so that's that new chapter new chapter <laughs> um so yeah the only other thing I'm working on is this Ooh, the sparkles are showing um oh you see that my nail broke my nail grows and then it breaks all the way down at the base so <sighs> anyway digression. So this is the Agonquit beanie that I'm working on. Um, for no reason in particular, I, um, one of the ones I'll show you, I use, this is the um, brain fart. Hobby Lobby. I love this chunky. Uh, Silver Spark. So um, I made something else with it and is it a whole skein? Do I have another one? I should have another one. This was the leftover from what I used, so I just started the beanie. Um, so yeah, there's that. And then I just realized I never worked on that knitted cowl that I was doing. Like I said, I had a couple of things I needed to finish first. So yeah, it's in here. I transferred it to, um, this is one of the small bags I bought from Kalisha, Quirky Monday podcast. I love the colors in here. It's just, oh, it's just so me. Fall, fall, all the way. It's the only thing I like about fall, the colors. So yeah. Yep. And that's her little that's her logo in here. So that's Kalisha of the Quirky Monday podcast. So yeah. That has not seen any action at all. And I have I'm looking at all the bags I have. We're not going to talk about that. <laughs> so that's them. Um Where else am I? Okay, um, FOs. Last time, excuse me, I forgot to show this, and I remembered when I was editing, I didn't want to 
cut and splice and do all that so I just figured I would show you this time around so I had finished the last um, stash busting cow the 2019 stash bust busting cow by the unraveled mitten um, this was just a I'll put the name on the screen I can't remember the cross double crochet something something yeah I can't remember but this is it and I'm doing all of these in um, uh, Big Twist Premium. So this is turmeric and it's not pigeon, it's lead I think is the colorway. But yeah, I like it. I want to do something with this stitch. Um, it's funny, I've done all the stitches that are being used in there other than the wattle stitch. I've used them before and I've totally forgotten about them, but this one, I like it. It's pretty. So that's that. For FOs, um, the other one I'm going to put a picture in, I did finish, uh, I used up the last of my placemats that I used for the bags and I did two of them and they're both sold. <laughs> After I posted them on Instagram, a couple of people um, pinged me about it and they're gone and one I just got a, a message today from one of them that she's received it and she loves it so I'm eternally grateful to you for that um, and to anyone else who's uh, purchased my bags so speaking of bags the last two that I showed last time what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pop it out on um, oops so this is the drawstring one I'm just going to pop it on my Etsy store and let it go from there so I think that's what I will do I'm not going to have any massive updates because I don't have time to um, a lot of people say that I do things quickly maybe I crochet a little fast um, but I don't have like a pocket of time to do things so I do it when I can I steal time when I can sometimes um, when I work from home I usually use my lunch hour to um, either run errands or start or finish something so, um, yeah, this is the drawstring one. The drawstring. <laughs> this is a zipper one, and this one has a pocket in there. And, oh, can you see that? It has the pocket, and it has the removable um, strap. So, I will pop that out there. And I have not had the chance to make anything, but I really, I'm going to stay out of the stores. Unless there's some you know, clearance on chunky or super chunky yarn. I'm just going to stay away because I didn't buy yarn. I did go back to Hobby Lobby and I didn't buy, there was nothing new on clearance, but I picked up, uh, there was one more of these left, so I picked it up. And this is the Yarn Bee Soft Illusions. So, that's all, just one. But what I did, hang on. Uh, oh, I'm back. <laughs> what I did was I walked by, I was looking for a particular fabric to see if they had it, and they didn't. So I walked by and they had stuff on clearance, so the color drew me in. I totally did. It just, I mean, I don't even know which side, this side is up. Actually, either side's up. Face both ways, so. It's so pretty. It's vintagey. Look, I just bit my tongue. It's vintagey and not at the same time. I don't know. Me, yellowy, goldy color. And then, theme. Ooh, that's good right there. Yeah, and this is a nice, um, softer, um, almost a silky feeling cotton which I tend to like for the inside of bags um, I'm using my stash so um, that's what I'm putting in as the lining and I do like to stay uh, with a plain lining because I want to see what's in the bag and if you have a busy or dark lining it's gonna be hard to just look in and see what's in there the other thing I find is that if when you put your yarn in there the friction against the regular cotton um, adds to the halo um, at least that's what I find. So I like the smoother insides. So that's that. And of course the color is just gorgeous. I 
then I saw this. Remember how I said I don't like pink? But I do. I'll revise that. I like the bold, bright pink, even the neon -y pinks. I just don't like the Barbie soft mm, pink. Mostly. But I saw that, and for some reason, I just... Plus, it was on clearance, too, so that made it easier to, to buy. Um, but, yeah, it just it drew me in. It's just nice and bold and graphic. That's the word. So that's what I bought at Hobby Lobby in that one skein. All right, excuse me. That. Okay, so, yeah, the placement bags. Hopefully you've seen the pictures and... Um, that so the other thing I've been working on pretty much this week uh, I've made a goal for myself um, again with the bra strap <laughs> sorry um, I've made a goal for myself to for the rest of this month to try to use up all the super bulky yarn that I bought and make stuff with and that'll give me a good stash for um, the fall where I'm not trying to rush and keep up I'm just using whatever colors that I have, and I have quite a bit of Hometown USA, and I bought quite a bit. And actually, before I show those, I will show you. I just went grocery shopping, and I stopped at Walmart. I mentioned that my Walmart is being um, redesigned. It's it's a complete mess. Every time you go in here, like aisles are moved somewhere else. So. Um, they are um they're redoing the yarn aisle i'm not sure if they're moving it permanently but where it's moved it's way where it wasn't so if you guys have ever been in the hudson store anyone around here um yeah it's all moved um yeah and the mandala the new ones are weird one they're a dollar more than the regular mandala um i don't see why they would have done that because the regular one even though it's number three there's a lot of yardage in there. The new one is number four, less yardage, but they're charging more. And there were two prices, two price tags there. One was $5.97 for um, the mantra, and then there was another one with the lighter, brighter colors. Not the newer, brighter colors. Not the one that Summer um, bought. But um, it was $5.88 on the tag, which was odd. So, who knows? Maybe it's just because everything's still in process. But the tag actually said Mandala, so I don't know. But I didn't buy any. But the yarn aisles have moved. But Hometown USA I use for my two button cowls. And these that I bought, like the others last time, were $2 opposed to the $2.97. So I saved about a dollar. Um, and you typically do not, do not, do not get it um, for that price. At Michael's doesn't sell it. At Joann's, I believe it's $4.99. And I think AC Moore is either three ninety nine or four ninety nine. I think it's three four ninety nine. So can't beat it. So I bought uh, Cincinnati Red. I bought four. I think I got all that they had. Um, this is way brighter on camera. This is showing a little orangey on camera, but it's it's red. I was hoping that the uh, Tampa Spice. That's my preferred red hue of that would be on. Sale clearance two dollars isn't much of a clearance I think, but the other one I got is Los Angeles tan. I got four of those. I got four I think of each of the ones I bought because I can get two um, two cowls out of that and with a little bit left over, but it won't be enough to make a headband. That's what I usually do with my leftovers, make a the Kalina headband, but. Um, at least I will have two of each color. And then I bought the rest of what they had for this, which I think I already have or I used up what I bought. Um, Springfield Silver. Silver? Yeah, Springfield Silver. So it's just two tones of gray, a lighter and darker gray. A light and medium gray, I would say. So there were only three of those left, and I got those. So I'm hoping by the end of the month, all of those ugh, they are falling out. I really jammed it in this tiny bag. I keep these tiny reusable bags. Um, everything's falling apart in my car, in the door pocket. So I need to run in for wherever I just have a little bag to use. Um, 
So yeah, that's what I bought there at Walmart. So on to two button cowls or just button cowls. Um, that's what I'm doing. So I won't try to pick them all up. So I did another, um, you saw one of these last time. It was a different button on it. So this is the uh, big button cowl and this is in the 10 for 10 line brand. Um, Mystical is the colorway. It's an icy blue with the sparkles going through it, which I really like. And then with the, um, this, I was planning on making like either a chubby bunny or something else with these, but then I'm like, hmm, why not? It is so soft. It is so squishy. I made a two button cowl. It is so soft. Just cloud-like squishy. So I think I have, I have two, I have enough, I think, for one more. Oh, so soft. So soft. Two button cowl. Very drapey. Much drapier than the usual. So there's one. I have two, three, four, five, six, seven, I think eight in total, um, two button cows. The next one is in the Louisville Julep, which I showed last time that I bought at Walmart. So now this is completely washing it out. It's a, it's like a minty green color and I'm not usually one for the minty green, but I quite like this one. And I put, um, oh, Put my label on them all. I have two types of label. This is a um, wider one with my actual logo on it, and then the other one that I have is thinner with just my name on it. So there's that. And then the what did I say this color was? Oh, the Springfield silver. There's that. So this is the other label, the thinner one that just says the dabbling hook with the, it has the crochet hook, whereas this one has my actual logo on it. And then I have two of these, which is, um, it's either the Pinot wine color or the Napa Valley. I forget what color it was. I don't remember the actual name, but all the same, a little washed out, but yeah, right here is about the color. But, so I've got two of those. And then I wanted to use up the, um, I love this chunky. My brain is just not functioning today. So I put two of them together and it's a little thicker than um, the consistency of the Hometown USA. But I still like it. So this, oh, it's Sparkly Glory, is, the, I love this chunky in Silver Spark. Okay, and then I have two of these. And Anchorage Ice is this one. So yeah, and the buttons I get from Amazon, and it's just the, is it the one, it's a little bigger than the one inch, I think it's a one and a quarter inch button. So there's this one, and so the lighter color, and then um, the darker color. So yeah, two of Anchor Dice. So that's where I am right now, and then there was leftover from both. Was it from both? Yeah, so when you do these with the Hometown USA, you can get one out of two skeins with a little leftover. And what I found is the variegated, you need to break into, um, you need to break into a third skein to use a little bit of it. But which was weird was for, um, Springfield Silver, I didn't have to break into a second skein. I had a little less than the the solids, but I didn't have to break into, not a second, I didn't have to break into a third skein, which was, I'm like, huh, I was all ready to do that, and it didn't. But then when I did this one, um, 
the Anchorage Ice, I definitely had to break into the third scheme. So um, I think Ross, um, smell great guy, bought stuff off of, uh, who was it, Nitpicks. And I think it was supposed to be like a 70 grams and it was only like 50 or 40 grams. It was, it was down quite a few. I mean, if it's like a couple of grams off, but it was down quite a bit of, I think like 10, maybe 10 grams or so. It was off and he wrote to them and they just sent him another one, but they didn't really fix it. So I think that's what is with this one. Because even though they say it's the same yardage on it, it definitely wasn't. Because this one, I had to break into the third. Which I was expecting, which I've done before, but I was surprised it didn't happen with the um, with the Springfield Silver. So with what was left over, I was able to get... Um, the Kalina headband out of it and like I said that's what I usually do last year or the year before I made like a scrappy one so all the if it wasn't enough to put together to make one I just made one scrappy one that I used like a couple of winters ago for myself but yeah so and for the Kalina headband the pattern has you um, do the wrap but you don't have to I just do a cinch in the middle for some of them so sometimes I wrap sometimes I don't depends on the mood I'm in um, but a couple of years now, those have been very popular, especially the people who say, I don't wear hats, I don't look good in hats, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, well, I've got headbands. So, um, yeah, I think, I think, I think, I think that's all. And I still can't remember the question that I had. So, um, yeah, that's it. So leave a comment. Only if you're interested in the bag. It's not mandatory. So, because I pull um, with the comment picker, so um, I don't remember what the question was that I wanted to ask. So, if I remember when I'm editing, I will put it on the screen. If not, just just say hi. How you doing? Not that. How you doing? <laughs> and um, yeah, that's it for me to go try to figure out what to do with my new quaff. My new quaffer. It's a challenge. I will talk to you guys later. I am hoping to um, do this. And I just realized when I went to put this away, I had um, fabric that I bought. I don't even remember from where, but it's been sitting in a bag off to the side. Yeah. So I need to stay away from the stores on all counts. Yarn. Fabric. Yeah. Okay. That is all. I hope you guys have a good rest of the day, good tomorrow, good rest of the weekend, Father's Day. Talk to you guys later. Bye, guys.